Hello there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Braden Books. If you are new here, go ahead, click that subscribe button, ring the bell for all of the notifications. I actually was not expecting to hit 100 subscribers so soon. So I really appreciate it. And I make these videos because it makes me feel better in really depressing times. I just lit a wonderful balsam forest candle. I also have this cool little torch, so. I find it in these days, it is very important to relax and to make sure that you are taking good care of yourself because these are very rough times that we're in. I made myself so stressed out with the political climate, I broke out into stress hives. They're really cute. Please don't take anything to heart that I say seriously because I'm an idiot. I'm hoping it's going to get steamy. A lot of you in the comment section said that it does. Still waiting for it. I want intense action. Now that I've seen Outlander, I've been spoiled. Where are you? Where? I want... I want... Whips. If you haven't seen my previous videos, link down below. You grab your beverages, what have you. Whatever makes you comfy. I think it's called Hygge. Hygge? And it means cozy. So let's get Hygge and we're gonna get into Season 1, Episode 3 of Bridgerton. Art of the Swoon. We should choose a different color, huh, for this background? I think so. That's fun. That kind of mimics my shirt. Okay. I'm ready, Bridgerton. Feed me. That's some Twilight shit. Listen, if you are a Twihard, you know. And if you don't... These Wendy dresses they're putting her in. I get what they're going for. But when you have such a close up shot like that, no matter the intention, it just becomes so cheesy. But I mean, it is Bridgerton. Listen, this is like, you know what? You know what? Fuck my halo top. This is like full ass, all fat Ben and Jerry's. And I should enjoy it. Very in haste, must repent. We have to bow down. Bow down. The tree like this Christ, Simon, you can't do that to me. I would like to audition for the part of the spoon. Oh my God, look at her lighting there. It's so angelic. You know me, me and St. Louis, the film. Vincent Minnelli, actually, who was once married to Judy Garland, obviously the father of Liza Minnelli. Liza. He would always light Judy Garland specifically in such a beautifully angelic way that you could tell, regardless of if he was a big homosexual, he loved her because the way he lit her. I want my lips to look like that. I fear that if I ever do the collagen, I just don't think I could pull it off. Yeah. We must continue our ruse until I found my match. Take a shot every time they say ruse. Some prince is coming to London. Then I shall wear my most brilliant dress and walk. So that actress looks a little bit like Alison Brie. Which, can we talk about the glow cancellation, Netflix? <laughs> I just loved glow so much. I like this friendship a lot. Penelope Featherington, what did I tell you about cavorting with the expectant? This Trumpy has to go. This family is such a mess. <sighs> Messy. Messy. Why do people have to be so pretentious? You can have money and not act like a twat. Daphne. Whom you would like to dance at tonight. Dance oh. tonight's ball. Give it up for Anthony's mutton chops. Hunting for dick. Is my general ready for battle? I'm just board ready. I don't get ready, I stay ready. Another mediocre white guy, that's what this is. And it's okay, because I can I can say that. Tell me, my lord, do you prefer the city or the These sideburns, though. Wild. He looks like Hans from Frozen. Comment down below. Do you prefer Frozen 1 or Frozen 2? Let it go. My ancestral home is really quite large. Much larger than most others in the area. Just whip it out, okay? Yes, get it. Run away. and I are exceptionally close. Being passed around like a piece of meat. These men are so not special. Look at them. Look at her. 
In every single shot, her skin looks like butter. The lighting on her, the highlights. I think her hair could be bigger, right? <laughs> so lovely to meet you, Miss Bridgerton. He seems kind of nice, nicer than the Hans guy. Those peacocks real. You are a dear friend, but I shall find an arrangement with another gentleman soon enough. Hopefully someone lesser than ass than your last. Bridgerton said we're gonna give you breasts. She's the one who got railed by Antony in the first episode. Right. She's gorgeous. And talented. Indeed I can. For all the mischief you have witnessed me make, you would also to Whenever Simon and Antony are together. There's fire. No, no, never make a fool of a lady, and certainly not one such as your sister. You confound me. You are respectful, and yet I know you have no intention of marriage. You must meet me in the bathroom at a quarter past midnight. That's a fun passageway. That's pretty chic. Very Anna Karenina vibes. And sometimes I ponder my plans for after my performance. Might I entice you to take in one of my performances sometime soon? Perhaps tomorrow night. Did you see the way Anthony was staring? <laughs> like, boy, you're not so covert. We know. You're not on the DL. You're pretty out there, man. Sister, what are you doing? Oh, daddy. <laughs> I could not sleep. I thought a bit of warm milk might help matters. Ooh, booty. Ring for a yeah. Side tooch. Can I ask you a question, brother? So long as it has nothing to do with the inner workings of that thing. It is about the Duke. Did you... Mm. Mm. He's your closest friend. Surely you must know things. The things I know are certainly not for your ears. He's like flexing in every single shot and we're here for it. Out, proud gay man. Wonder about such a thing. What a peculiar milk jar. <laughs> the proportions are bizarre. Well, I... Was he in Unreal? Could this be the reason a certain language tutor has been seen visiting Kalpa House? She's fierce, but she needs to calm down. Need to calm down. I love his outfit. Is it Blue Velvet? Kulana Del Rey, am I right? Oh man, he's so gorgeous. Watch Mutton Chops come in now. Watch Bridgerton style happen. Sure, this is the first time I've seen it. That is because- that But is because our faves, always together, just like bitching about the patriarchy. You simply must meet Miss Marina Thompson. Absolutely ravishing. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I just had a brief question to ask Marie. Now, now is not the time, Penelope. I believe now to be the perfect time. Miss Thompson, I certainly was not addressing you. <gasps> yes. Mm. There we go. I asked for Benedict, and we got some. Look, how could you let me rattle on like that? Could I nod, my dear Mr. Bridgerton? She should read Why me books to bed. I'd pay her. Can I thought he was going to be gay. I thought we were getting one, finally. I like the color combo there a little bit. Usually that green would make me go blue, but it's kind of nice. Are we getting some mo's here soon? One of these people is gay, and I'm gonna find him. It's like the mole, but gay. <laughs> Bitches gotta go. Who are you? Yes, seems the art is not the only beautiful thing on display at present. <laughs> seems like the art is not the only thing on display in the present. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Bridgerton? You should make your rounds, your highness. Move along. What are you doing hiding away in here? Enjoying some culture. Yes, more of them. You are receiving glowing reviews from Whistledown. Imagine being reviewed for your, like, romantic life. <laughs> so sad. About you have to be on camera if you're gonna cause we trouble. <laughs> this is Gucci. We are mad for each other. Mothers, I have never understood why. It is very beautiful. She said that's enough of that. Is that her booty? Uh. If I could... <coughs> <coughs> this is awful. I'm pretty sure I have her butthole like in my nostril. This is disgusting. I just put hand sanitizer up my nose. Touch the hand. Touch the hand. Oh yeah. Oh no. Chris, I'm sorry. 
best is swooned. A Prince Friedrich court. Swoon my ass. She just wanted that dick. Look at that little Aryan moment. Are you sure there are no gentlemen lingering about the gallery? The Phantom of the Opera. She must be a witty conversationalist, an accomplished musician, and an expert in the art of the swoon. In the art of the swoon. There are more important things that you need to be studying in school, people. What? Studying in swooning and boys? Come on. The British and girl is the incomparable of the season. Incomparable is the buzzword of this show, just in general. One of them. Miss is a delightful young lady, to be sure. But if this gossip sheet is correct, then her heart is already spoken for. Her heart is Where good. is he from? I'm trying to place the accent. Somewhere Aryan, somewhere, you know, Germany. You are a prince. Charm her. She said, you are a prince. Charm her. Just drawing hands. <laughs> So much pent up aggression. Oh, enough, I beg of you. We love a consistent queen. Duke, Both of them, me. where they are, every day, just reading and playing the piano, because that is life. Now that is kind of life in quarantine, if you have a piano. That's also what we call privilege. You say that as if reading were a bad thing. No, I meant no. I hate that whole trope. The pretty girl who reads, like, she's gonna be a singleton her entire life. Never see things from my perspective you are not the only one with troubles Eloise you have no idea what it no idea how hard it is to go catch all that dick <laughs> mom if you're watching this I'm so sorry just literally praying the rosary as I'm speaking this is the part in the story where the person's like oh I've been working on this song for a while but I'm, I don't really want to play it and they're like, no, please, please play it. And it's like the most beautiful thing you've ever heard. And they're like, and I know it's pretty great, right? I feel like this is the opening of Sweeney Todd. Look at that cloak. I would love to take one of those cloaks and just like, where would I go with it? <laughs> Everyone was like, 2021, gonna be so much better. It's literally the same, but. We're more positive. We're positive this year. We're positive. Why have you brought me here? Because I wanted you to see your future firsthand. We don't sex shame here. If we have proven anything, it's that sex shaming does not prevent people from fucking. He was my friend. I love that color on him. Holy shit, that like nice dark raspberry with the gold and his smile. Oh, he's so cute. Anyway, she looks good too. The other things that hold the troop together. My word. My like we're trying to organize a militia. Ah, Those Willy like Wonka looking this. motherfuckers. But how can something be both physical and intangible when they are indeed quite the opposite? Is this her way of saying I want some? What's happening here? What happens between a husband and a wife? Oh, there's a natural continuation of what happens at night. At night? <laughs> what happens at night? When you're touching when yourself. You touch yourself. <gasps> Spoiler alert, I wrote this episode. Gag. You do touch yourself. <laughs> what is this laugh that's come out of nowhere? It's like a helium laugh. When you are alone, you can touch yourself. Anyone in your body, anyone that gives you pleasure, but especially between your legs. And when you find a feeling you particularly enjoy, you can carry on with that until the feeling grows. And eventually you reach the pinnacle. Release. It's getting juicy. It's getting juicy. <laughs> ah! In the world of Bridgerton, up until this point, females are very, very sex conscious and like terrified of it in this world thus far. I don't know if she enjoyed that. I'm gonna go with that she did. Ah, I demand to know. Fuck. But if you are merely dallying with her. 
And if she loses her chance of such an extraordinary match, simply because she is too wrapped up in your charms, well then. I get it. I want to make sure that this is for real, because if you shame our family. I found bits of your sketchbook in the fireplace. It was filled with lots of hands, and I just was wondering if you could, like, explain that? Just, like, a little bit? Girl needs Nicorette. He looks like Gavin Creel. He's very handsome. Whistledown is a woman. Therefore, she has nothing. And still, she writes. You're a man, therefore you have everything. You are able to do whatever you want. So do it. Be bold. Louise, are you Lady Whistledown? <laughs> We don't know who Lady Whistledown even is. This is Gossip Girl. Sorry? Is it you? No. Oh, if it were. Do you think I'd tell you? Do you honestly think that I'd admit it? Wrote the episode. You guys, you heard it here the first time. Lighting. It's nice. Some quality lighting. She's gonna diddle herself. <laughs> Not me pouring the water into my other cup as this scene is going on. I'm so sorry. Don't flag me. She's masturbating. <laughs> Sounds so clinical. She's masturbating. <laughs> you finished. How lovely. This is just as bad as the cream shot in the first episode. When it went from the cum wrap to the cream and when she went. Daphne, what's wrong? I came. I shall not be joining you today, Miss Bridgerton. Well, that put a damper in the bonk fest. Have I done something wrong? No. This is about our conversation yesterday. I just apologize for that. There's no need to apologize. Your brother was correct, but always... When things get too hot and heavy, they always pull away. We were never friends. I do not believe there could be a more ridiculous notion. He's just starting to like you, Simon. I know ultimately he's saving her, and he's doing what he needs to do, but still. This is harsh. You just taught her to come. Why is no one listening to her? Gentleman is here for you. I wanted to see you. What is it this time? Cue Katy Perry hot and cold, am I right? You broke up with Sienna. The only reason you want to be back with Sienna is because you totally want to boink the Duke. I miss you. Girl, you have standards. You have made me promises before and I, like a fool, believe them. I cannot be your fool again. I cannot be your fool again. Yes, we love it. Take control of your life. Love yourself. <laughs> Dreaming of having a regular family. Well, what does he say? Balls. Man, she has it rough right now. He pretends there was nothing between us. It would seem our efforts were not in vain. Which is quite exact, Mom. He He's still be. alive. Oh, we. Karen has officially right. made it on oh, my yes. shit list. And she was already yeah, there, but now it's ten times worse. Constant. Ah, Lady Bridgerton. Ugh. Daphne is so taken by the team. This show absolutely fails the Bechtel test within like five seconds. What do you want? These Bridgerton girls. <laughs> These are names, 14 to be exact, 14 single eligible young ladies all from excellent families. Lady Leeworth, Elder Smith. I shall consider your suggestions, thank you. But I still want it from Simon. Time, as we both know, is certainly of the essence. Ugh, ugh, hate it. Love entirely. Oh, we're trying Violet. Might I have you next dance? I'd be delighted, my lord. Okay. Apologies, Lady Danbury. But I believe it's time for me to go. Be foolish. Yeah, don't be foolish. You were like most of the steam of this. Are you feeling all right, dearest? Exceptionally. Mama's gonna put on a show. Hello, everybody. Hello. 
It's me. Anastasia. She said, I brought a fan. And it has feathers. We get it. You're hot. All eyes are on Miss Cracker. Could it be true? The season's diamond, even more precious and rare a stone than previously thought? For it now appears this treasure is set to join the likes of the Queen's ever so cherished crown jewels themselves. Well, that was another episode of Bridgerton. We are on episode four next, which allegedly is where it really starts to get steamy and very softcore as my therapist said, so we'll see. A uh, little underwhelmed. Hopefully that thirst is gonna be quenched the next episode as she activated her sex powers. So very exciting. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching the videos and giving the thumbs up and subscribing. And it really means a lot. It's always surprising when you actually have people who are like, yes, please do more of this because I love it. So let me know your thoughts. I'm wishing you the best from afar. I hope you all stay safe, healthy, happy. It has been rough, but as Bridgerton has taught us, the most important thing is getting your self-worth from a man. And don't you forget it. Until next time, I'm so ready for that vaccine.